Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to service ZSK embroidering machines. I am Sergey from ZSK Germany. Today we will explain you how to replace clinker, a critical component that controls the needle bar movement. Having properly functioning clinker is a key to smooth operation of the machine. So let's get started. For this operation you will need the following tools. A cross tip Phillips screwdriver, 2 mm and 2.5 mm Allen keys, and the main shaft too. To remove the old clinker we will need to turn on the machine and press the left side button on the W head to bring the presser foot down. Then press the right side button to unlock that axis and move zigzag head to the right to clear the space at the front of the head. Go to T8 and press L3 service then R2 test machine attachment then L7 main shaft position. Release the main shaft brake by pressing jogging button on T8. Move to the left hand side of the machine and open the cover to access the main shaft. Loosen two screws with 2.5 mm Allen key and slide the cover clockwise. Take the machine shaft tool, engage it with the main shaft and rotate it counterclockwise until it reaches 180 degrees. Then press the jogging button on T8 to engage the main shaft brakes. Using a cross tip Phillips screwdriver, remove the front plate and front cover from the W head. Using a 2 mm Allen key, loosen the set screw that holds the guide axis at the bottom. In some cases, if the guide axis doesn't move up, you might need to loosen the top screw as well. Move the guide axis all the way up until it touches the top cover of the W head. Tighten the top screw to prevent it from sliding down. Remove the slider and white plastic washer, moving the slider back to create the space for the clinker. Bring the clinker and the needle bar down. Remove the rubber washer from the guide axis, what sits on top of the clinker. Use 2.5 mm Allen key to remove the two screws from the driver. Slide out the driver then slightly tilt the left edge of the clinker downwards to disengage it from the guide. Rotate it counterclockwise to release its spring from behind the needle bar driver. To install the new clinker, please ensure that needle bar is down and its driver touches the carriage. Bring the new clinker into the guide's slot, positioning its spring behind the needle bar driver, not under it. Apply pressure to the needle bar driver to prevent the spring from sliding under. While applying pressure, attach the driver to the clinker using a 2.5 mm Allen key to secure the two screws. Place the rubber washer on the shaft guide, then raise the clinker and washer up together. Slightly loosen the top guide axis set screw with a 2 mm Allen key. Insert the plastic washer below the clinker draw guide axis through the slider and lower it back into its original position. Use a 2 mm Allen key to tighten the set screws, securing the guide axis in place. Release the main shaft brakes by pressing jogging button on T8. With the main shaft tool engaged, manually rotate the main shaft counterclockwise two full turns, ensuring smooth operation with no blockage. Then Position it at 64 degrees and re-engage the brakes. Remove the tool, slide the cover back and re-tighten the screws with a 2.5 mm Allen key. Reinstall the front cover and plate onto the W head using the Phillips screwdriver. Press the left side button on the W head to bring the presser foot up. Then press the right side button to return the Z axis back to its original position. In order to reduce the risk of damaging the machine, please do the first embroidery test run with a low speed. There you have it, the full process for replacing the clinker on your ZSK embroidery machine. For further assistance you may contact your local agency. The contact details you can find on the ZSK website. Below this video you may find useful links to purchase tools and parts what had been used in this video. Thanks for watching.